Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today we're going to be talking about saving locations and how you can use the Garmin Explore app to go save locations that you want to have saved and get them onto your Garmin Instinct Solar Watch. Now I'm saying Solar Watch because that's what I've got. Doesn't matter if you've got the solar or one of the non-solar models, this video should work the same for everybody. So why would we need to do this? The best way to save locations is put your watch on, go to that location, turn your GPS on, and save the location. But maybe that's not feasible, or maybe there's just some locations out there that you want to have saved so that you can see how far are you from that uh, location, how would you navigate to it, stuff like that, just to have some fun with the watch. That's what we're going to be showing you in this video. If I press the GPS button, I select Navigate, and I go to Save the Locations, we're going to see that I don't have any saved locations currently on my watch. We're gonna use the Garmin Explore app, which is a free app from uh, Garmin. Now, I'm gonna be using an Apple device. Doesn't matter whether you've got Apple or Android, it's gonna work the same for everybody. We're gonna go pick a location on the Garmin Explore app, we're gonna save it, and then we're gonna sync our watch and get it to our watch. It's really easy. This is one of those things where the only thing you should ever need to really do this is the Garmin Explore app and a connection on your watch set up to that phone. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go on my cell phone and we're gonna do some exploring on the Garmin Explore app. Okay, so as I mentioned, now I'm on my cell phone. The app that we're interested in using in this video is the Garmin Explore app. It's the red app at the top. I'm gonna to click on it. Once you get into it, you should see a map of your current location. You can use your finger and basically scroll anywhere you want to on the map. Click anywhere, you can zoom in. You can zoom out. Anywhere you wanna click, you can create a save location. So if I wanted to save my location right there, I just have to click, I can see the GPS coordinates, and then all I have to do is choose create a waypoint. It's gonna come up, I can type whatever I want to in there. Uh, let's just do test one. Now I'm done with that waypoint. The other option is if you don't wanna use the map, you can just search for places. So you can see my recent searches in there. If I wanna search for something, let's just put, um, I don't know, AT&T Stadium for the Dallas Cowboys. I'm gonna choose it, create a waypoint. I can see the location. I can leave the name or I can rename it if I want to. I'm just gonna leave it. Now I've saved that waypoint. Once I've got my waypoint saved, all I have to do is click on devices at the bottom and let it sync that information to my Garmin Instinct watch. Now we can get off of the Garmin Explore app we can go back to my Garmin Instinct and we should see these two save locations that we totally got just by going on our phone, finding the location, saving it, and then syncing it to our Instinct Solar. So let's go back on the Instinct and take a look at it. Okay, so now I'm back on my watch. We're gonna do the same thing as before. I'm gonna press GPS. I'm gonna do navigate, but I'm gonna go back to save locations. This time, hopefully we should see two save locations. And sure enough, we see both of them. We see AT&T Stadium, and we see test one. Both of them I created are basically saved from the Garmin Explore app, sync them to my device. I can click on each one of them just like any other safe location. I can see the details. I can rename them. I can change the icon. I can do all of that stuff on this watch or I could go back to the Garmin Explore app, do it there, sync it again, and the changes will make it over to the watch. Really easy, it's a lot of fun, especially if you're wanting to save some old locations that you don't have time to go to with your watch and save them manually. At least you'll have those locations in your waypoints in case you ever wanted to navigate to them or do some exploring just to see the distance and stuff like that to those locations. As always, I hope the video helps. If you've got any questions, post in the comments. Be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.